The sky was a dark canvas, lit only by the intermittent flashes of artillery fire and the relentless staccato of machine gun bursts. The air was thick with the acrid stench of burning metal and the bitter tang of blood. Through the chaos and ruin, a figure moved with determined precision, his every step echoing the unyielding spirit that drove him forward. I was that figure, Lieutenant Jarek Voss. My armor was scarred and battered, the once pristine surface marred by countless encounters with enemy fire. Yet beneath the dents and scratches the emblem of our unit, the Silver Talons, remained defiantly visible. We were the last line of defense, the thin barrier between our world and the invading horde. Ahead of me, the front line was a maelstrom of movement and noise. My men, worn and weary, fought with a ferocity born of desperation. The enemy, a merciless alien race known as the Exelthar, advanced with relentless precision. Their exoskeletons glinted under the harsh light of battle, their soulless eyes focused on the annihilation of everything we held dear. Lieutenant Voss, a voice crackled through my comms. I turned to see Sergeant Terran Merrick approaching, his face smeared with dirt and sweat. His eyes, however, burned with the same fire that coursed through my veins. Report I barked, my voice barely audible over the din of war. We're holding, sir, but just barely Merrick replied, his breath coming in ragged gasps. The eastern flank is under heavy attack. We've lost contact with Delta Squad. I nodded the weight of the situation pressing down on my shoulders. Delta Squad was one of our best, and their loss would be a severe blow. But there was no time for mourning or doubt. The battle raged on, and we had to adapt. Reinforce the eastern flank I ordered, my mind racing to formulate a plan. Pull from the reserves and hold the line. I'll take a team to locate Delta Squad. Merrick saluted, his expression resolute. Yes, sir. As he moved to carry out my orders, I turned to the soldiers nearby. Rook, Alaris with me, I commanded, selecting two of my most reliable men. They nodded, their faces set in grim determination. We moved swiftly through the trenches, the ground trembling beneath our feet. The sound of our boots crunching on the rubble was drowned out by the cacophony of battle. Every step was a reminder of the stakes we faced, the lives hanging in the balance. My thoughts were a whirlwind of strategy and survival. The Yegzelthar were unlike any enemy we had faced before. Their technology was advanced, their tactics ruthless. Yet it was their sheer numbers that overwhelmed us. For every one we killed, ten more seemed to take its place. We reached the last known position of Delta Squad, the area eerily quiet compared to the surrounding chaos. The sight that greeted us was a grim testament to the ferocity of the battle. Bodies lay strewn across the ground, their armor torn and bloodied. Spread out, I instructed, my voice low. Look for survivors. Brooke and Alaris moved with practiced efficiency, their eyes scanning the carnage. I crouched beside a fallen soldier, checking for signs of life. There was none. The faces of the dead stared up at me, their expressions frozen in a final moment of defiance. Sir. Over here, Alaris called out, his voice tinged with urgency. I hurried to his side, my heart pounding. He stood over a prone figure, their chest rising and falling with labored breaths. It was Captain Mira Jessen, Delta Squad's leader. Her armor was shattered, blood seeping from numerous wounds, but she was alive. We need a medic, I shouted into my comms, hoping someone would hear. Mira's eyes fluttered open, and she looked up at me, her gaze filled with pain and determination. Voss, the Selthar. They have a command center. Northeast. Take it out. Cut off the head. Her words were punctuated by fits of coughing, blood flecking her lips. I squeezed her hand, my grip firm. We'll take care of it, Mira. Just hold on. The medics arrived moments later, their movements swift and efficient. They stabilized Mira as best they could before carrying her back to our lines. I watched them go, my resolve hardening. The Exelthor Command Center was our new objective. If we could destroy it, we might stand a chance of turning the tide. Rook, Alaris. We're moving out, I said. My voice steely. We're going to take out that command center. They nodded, their expressions mirroring my own determination. We set off towards the northeast, the battlefield a hellish landscape of fire and destruction. Every step was a battle, every breath a struggle. But we pressed on, driven by the hope of victory, and the fear of what failure would bring. 
As we approached the enemy lines, the fighting grew more intense. The Zelthar were dug in, their defenses formidable. But we were humans, and we had an indomitable spirit that no enemy could crush. We fought with everything we had, our weapons blazing in our hearts on fire. The command center loomed ahead, a towering structure bristling with defenses. It was a symbol of Zexalthar might, a stark reminder of the challenge we faced. But it was also our target, and we would not be deterred. Cover me, I ordered, preparing to breach the entrance. Rook and Alaris laid down suppressing fire, their shots precise and deadly. I charged forward, my pulse pounding in my ears. The door exploded inward under the force of my charge, and I stormed inside, my weapon at the ready. The interior was a maze of corridors and rooms, each one filled with the enemy. We fought our way through, our progress marked by the bodies of the fallen. Every encounter was a test of our resolve, every victory a step closer to our goal. Finally, we reached the heart of the command center. The room was filled with alien machinery, the air humming with the energy of their technology. In the center stood the Zelthar commander, his eyes cold and calculating. So the humans have come to die, he sneered, his voice dripping with contempt. I leveled my weapon at him, my finger tightening on the trigger. No, we've come to win. The ensuing battle was fierce and brutal. The Exelthar commander was a formidable foe, his movements swift and deadly. But we fought with the desperation of those who had nothing left to lose. Every strike, every shot, was fueled by the memories of our fallen comrades and the hope of a future free from Zelthar tyranny. In the end, it was Rook who delivered the killing blow, his knife finding a gap in the commander's armor. The alien fell to the ground, his lifeblood pooling around him. The command center's systems began to falter, the machinery sparking and failing. We did it, Alaris said, his voice tinged with exhaustion and relief. I nodded, my gaze sweeping over the room. We had struck a blow against the enemy, but the battle was far from over. As we made our way back to our lines, the reality of our situation settled over me. We had won a victory, but the war was still raging. And we would fight on, driven by the indomitable spirit that had brought us this far. Back at the front line, the atmosphere was a mixture of grim determination and cautious hope. News of our assault on the Exelthar Command Center had spread, and the morale of our troops had lifted, if only slightly. The night sky was still lit by the fires of battle, but there was a renewed vigor in our ranks. Lieutenant Voss, a familiar voice called out as I approached our makeshift command post. It was Colonel Darius Thorne, the grizzled veteran who had led the Silver Talons through countless battles. His face was a map of scars, each one a testament to his resilience. Colonel, I acknowledged, saluting sharply. I heard about your mission, he said, his tone both stern and approving. Good work. We've dealt a significant blow to this Elthar. But we can't let our guard down. They're regrouping, and they'll hit us hard. I nodded, understanding the gravity of his words. What's our next move, sir? We need to hold our position and prepare for their counterattack, Thorne replied. I've already sent for reinforcements, but they'll take time to arrive. Until then, it's up to us to keep the Zelthar at bay. I glanced around, taking in the weary faces of my comrades. They were tired, their bodies pushed to the brink, but their spirits remained unbroken. We had come too far to falter now. Understood, sir, I said, my voice resolute. We'll hold the line. Thorne's eyes bore into mine, a flicker of respect in his gaze. I know you will, Voss. Rally your men. We'll need every hand on deck. As I turned to leave, I felt a hand on my shoulder. It was Rook, his face a canvas of dirt and determination. Lieutenant, the men are ready. We're with you. I nodded, a surge of pride swelling within me. Good. Let's show these Exelthar what humanity is made of. We moved back to the front lines the weight of our mission pressing heavily on our shoulders. Every soldier we passed shared the same steely resolve, their eyes reflecting the unwavering spirit that defined us. The Zelthar had underestimated us, and they would pay the price. Our defenses were hastily reinforced, every able body contributing to the effort. Sandbags were piled high, machine gun nests established, and snipers took their positions. The anticipation of the impending assault hung in the air, a palpable tension that set every nerve on edge. 
As night deepened, the battlefield fell into an uneasy silence. The only sounds were the distant echoes of skirmishes and the whispered prayers of those preparing for what was to come. I stood at the front, scanning the horizon through my scope, every shadow a potential threat. And then, like a tide of darkness, they came. The shelter surged forward, their numbers a seemingly endless wave of destruction. Their exoskeletons glinted in the moonlight, their weapons flashing with lethal precision. But we were ready. Hold the line I bellowed, my voice carrying over the din. For our fallen, for our future. The first wave hit us with brutal force. Our guns roared to life, the air filled with the deafening symphony of battle. Bullets tore through alien flesh, explosions rocked the ground, and screams of pain and fury echoed across the field. Beside me, Rook and Alaris fought with a ferocity that matched my own. We moved as one, our actions a seamless dance of survival and retribution. Every shot was a statement, every kill a testament to our resolve. The Zelthar pushed hard, their sheer numbers threatening to overwhelm us. But we held firm, driven by the knowledge that we had no other choice. Our backs were against the wall, and surrender was not an option. Amid the chaos, I saw Sergeant Merrick struggling against a trio of Zexulthar soldiers. His rifle jammed, and he resorted to using it as a bludgeon, swinging it with desperate strength. I rushed to his side, my weapon blazing, cutting down his attackers with precise shots. Thanks, Lieutenant, he gasped, his face pale but determined. Stay strong, Sergeant, I replied, gripping his shoulder briefly. We're not done yet. Hours passed in a blur of blood and fire. The Zelther pressed us relentlessly, but our line held. Every inch of ground was contested fiercely, every moment a fight for survival. We were battered and bruised, our numbers dwindling, but our spirit remained unbroken. And then as dawn began to break, a strange silence fell over the battlefield. The Exelthor had pulled back, regrouping for what would undoubtedly be their final, decisive push. We used the respite to tend to the wounded and reinforce our positions, every second a precious gift. Colonel Thorne joined us at the front, his presence a steadying force amid the chaos. They're coming again, he said, his voice carrying the weight of grim certainty. This is it. We hold here, or we fall. I met his gaze, my own resolve mirrored in his eyes. We'll hold, sir. We have to. He nodded, a rare smile touching his lips. That's the spirit, Voss. Remember, it's not just about surviving. It's about fighting for something greater than ourselves. As the sun crested the horizon, casting its golden light over the ravaged landscape, the Exelthar launched their final assault. They came with renewed fury, their determination to break us evident in every step. But we were ready. Fire it, will I shouted my voice rising above the roar of battle. Our defenses erupted with lethal force, a wall of firepower meeting the alien tide. The ground shook with the impact of explosives, the air filled with the acrid scent of burning flesh. But still these Elthar came, their resolve as unyielding as our own. The battle raged on, a brutal testament to the will to survive. My every movement was driven by the memory of those we had lost, the hope for a future free from this nightmare. I fought with a ferocity that surprised even myself, my body moving on instinct, my mind focused on one thing victory. And then, through the haze of smoke and blood, I saw it. The Selther commander, a towering figure clad in ornate armor, directing his troops with ruthless efficiency. He was the heart of their force, the linchpin that held their assault together. If we could take him down, we might just have a chance. Rook, Alaris. With me I called out, my voice cutting through the chaos. We pushed forward, cutting a path through the enemy ranks with brutal efficiency. Every step brought us closer to the commander, every moment a desperate gamble. The air was thick with the sounds of battle, the cries of the dying, but we pressed on. Finally we reached him. The Zelthar commander turned to face us, his eyes glowing with a cold, alien intelligence. Humans, he sneered, his voice a grating rasp. You think you can defeat us? I leveled my weapon at him, my finger tightening on the trigger. We don't think. We know. The fight was swift and brutal. The commander was a formidable opponent, his movements a blur of deadly precision. But we fought with the strength of desperation, the unyielding spirit that had carried us this far. We were not just fighting for ourselves, but for every human who had fallen, 
every life that depended on our success. In the end, it was Alaris who landed the killing blow, his knife finding a chink in the commander's armor. The alien fell to the ground, his lifeblood spilling out in a dark pool. With his death, the Exelthar forces faltered, their cohesion shattered. We did it, Rook gasped, his voice filled with exhausted relief. I nodded, my body trembling with the adrenaline and the enormity of what we had accomplished. Yes, but this is just the beginning. As the remaining Xelthar retreated, a cheer rose up from our ranks. We had held the line, driven back the enemy, and shown them the indomitable spirit of humanity. But the war was far from over. Colonel Thorne approached, his expression one of weary pride. Well done, Voss. You and your men have earned a place in history today. I met his gaze, a fierce determination burning in my chest. Thank you, sir. But there's still work to be done. We won't rest until the Zelthar are driven from our world. He nodded, a rare smile touching his lips. And with soldiers like you, I have no doubt we'll succeed. As the sun rose higher, casting its light over the battlefield, I allowed myself a moment of hope. We had faced certain defeat and emerged victorious, driven by the unbreakable spirit that defined us. The Zelthar had learned to fear us, and our allies had found new inspiration in our resolve. We were the Silver Talons, the defenders of humanity. And as long as we drew breath, we would fight on, no matter the cost. The battle for our world was far from over, but with every victory we moved closer to a future free from the shadow of the Exelthar. And I, Lieutenant Jarek Voss, would lead my men with unwavering determination, until the last enemy fell and peace was finally ours.